I mean, uh, yeah, well, welcome back to the Denver 7 special postgame coverage. Uh, at the podium now, Captain Gabe Landeskog and the game-winning scorer, Andre Burakovsky, are uh, speaking after the game. Let's listen. Just wait till our kids, you'll be up at 6 every day. <laughs> hey, Gabe, over here in front of you. Uh, Gabe, the, your coach says he breaks the game down in five-minute segments for you guys. How does that help you guys uh, through a game, any kind of game like tonight? I mean, it's huge. And I think, you you know, that's that's... I don't think that's uncommon, but um, you know, you got to narrow your focus down. And if you just go out there and say we're going to try to win this game, I mean, that's a lot easier said than done. And uh, staying in the present, staying in the moment, focusing on your next shift. Um, I mean, that's super important. Um, you you have to be able to you have to be able to manage your emotions and sometimes you have a bad five minute segment and, and you got to be able to reset and um, sometimes that just that seeing that clock ticking down to the next TV timeout being able to reset and go back at it I think that's important left side second row go ahead yeah Andre what did you just can you walk me through the play of what you saw on the, the overtime winner um, I just saw Comfort got a got the puck in the neutral zone there and uh, mean Val was inside blue which just trying to get it get out as quick as possible and and then obviously Val got the puck back and and it made a great play to me and it was just for me to to shoot it and lucky to win it. What did you think about it? <laughs> I wasn't thinking too much. It was a kind of crazy feeling and I mean just be able to be here in this in this final and and help the team win a game. I mean it's a, it was a nice feeling for sure. Back right. Gabe, the even kill mindset has been a subtle weapon for you guys all season long, but heading into overtime, Stanley Cup final, how do you guys keep that even kill mindset? What was it like in the dressing room there? Yeah, I thought, I thought it was good. Uh, I thought our third period was definitely better than our second. Uh, so we're just trying to feed enough, feeding off of that. And, you know, we talked about we've been good in, the, in overtime here in the playoffs, and, and there's no reason for us not to feel confident. And with the crowd behind us, it was... Um, you know, that definitely was helping, and, and, you know, they're a good team. They, they don't make it easy on you. It's you, you have to earn everything you get, and uh, obviously you get a bounce where, where Conf knocks it down, and, and you get a short lot of three on two, and um, great play by Val, and, and Berkey puts it in the back of the net, so um, a yeah, resilient win. Front row on the left. Gave a lot of talk going into this series is the Nazem Kadri injury, and you guys have this second line made up of three guys that, you know, when Kadri was healthy, we're all playing on different lines, and then they come out and they scored the game winner. Could you just talk about that next man up mentality, and specifically for Andre, who's been kind of in and out of the lineup? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's to be expected at this point in the season. Um, and, and there's nothing new for our group. It's just always been dealt with a lot of injuries uh, this season, and, and it's been the mindset all along. Whoever's up, Whatever the lineup looks like, you go out there and you do your job. And uh, I think it's important for guys not to try to do anything extra, but just do what you can to help the team win and, and contribute with whatever your role is. And, and obviously, um, it's a big moment, and guys step up, and, and that's what Conf, Val, and, and Berkey did tonight. And, and uh, you know, they have a history of doing that. Berkey scored some big goals for us, and, and uh, I'm not surprised to see him put that one in. That was, that was awesome. We'll take two more questions in English on the back right. Gabe, there, there were questions about the layoff and how this team would handle this stage. How big a win is tonight based on the fact that you had such a great start, dealt with adversity, lost the lead, and then were able to get it done in overtime? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, people's going to question the, the, the rest versus rest all along, and that's, that's nothing new to us. We, we believe mm -hmm. that rest is important, and it's going to be important in this series, and long term it'll be good for us, and, and you know, it, we knew it wasn't going to be an issue to get up for this one and come up with a lot of energy. I mean, it's a game one of the Stanley Cup Finals at home, um, you know. So we we were just feeding off of that energy, and and uh, the whole city's been buzzing all week. And, and those are the post game interviews we've all been hoping for. Thank you very much for watching Denver Seven Avalanche post game coverage, sponsored by Colorado GMC dealers. I'm Shannon Ogden. As you see, Andrew Hio is live outside Ball Arena. More live coverage after this short break.